Geek Freak here with another great tutorial on how to download and install custom themes for your Xbox 360. This tutorial is only going to show you how to download and install themes for a non-modified Xbox 360 um, or if you just have the DVD firmware flashed with a different firmware this applies to you as well. So what we want to do is go to the spiffy360.com website and then on the themes if we just hover, hover over that menu item and go to NXE dashboard these are the only themes that will apply to our Xbox since it is not modded. To download one of these themes just click on the download link and then save it somewhere on your hard drive. These themes will usually show up as a .zip file so just go ahead and extract them and then you can just delete the folder and zip file once you have the actual theme file. It won't have any extensions, it'll just show up similar to this. Now what we want to do is transfer this over to our Xbox, so I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, now that we have our theme ready, we need to get our USB flash drive set up so we can put our theme on it. So let's go system settings, go down to memory, and then find your USB storage device. Now if you haven't set it up yet, you need to click on configure now. And this will set it up so you can actually put your theme on the storage device so the Xbox can read it. Okay, now that our USB flash drive is ready, we can go ahead and take it out and head back over to our computer. Okay, now back on our computer, um, we want to grab this program called USB XTAF Explorer. Um, which can be downloaded on the spiffy360.com forums and once we have that program let's go ahead and open it up with our flash drive plugged into our computer let's go file open first USB drive and it should come up with these now if you just configured your flash drive this is probably all you're gonna see um, if you have used on your Xbox before you may have some other stuff in the data partition now if you don't, like I do here, what you want to do is set up the path just like it says right here. And you're going to want to create those folders inside of Windows. So now here I have mine set up. Um, content, all those zeros, um, all the way up to the 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now this is where your theme is going to go. So let's go ahead and drag this theme over to this folder. And then back in here, with the data partition selected, let's right click and go inject folder. And we'll choose the content folder. So let's click on OK. Should import it. and it should look just like that. Um, once you have that set, then you can go ahead and close this. And then let's go back to the Xbox and plug in the flash drive. Okay, now that we've got our flash drive um, plugged back into our Xbox, let's go over to system settings, go back down to memory, and choose your USB drive. Now in here you should show themes. Um, there should be a file size bigger than zero kilobytes. Um, let's click on themes and it should show our theme right there. So let's click on it. We'll go move and let's move it to the internal hard drive. So now it should be on our Xbox. Let's go ahead and go back to our 